Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Rusty Rails. It is Pure Cold, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an oil spill for really, really, really cheap. <laughs> make sure you stay tuned because you don't want to miss this one. Well, what's going on? It's Pure Cold. I've said that twice. I don't know why I'm saying it so many times, but this video is sponsored by Rusty. No, it's not. This is Rusty Rails. This video is sponsored by Rocket Railways. Make sure you head over to their website. The link is in the description because they truly are the one stop shop for all your model railway needs. With that being said, on to the video. Okay, so this is the effect we are going to be trying to aim for. And it, as you can see, it really does look like a gunked up oily mess on the track. And I'm really happy with how it came out. So let's delve straight in to how we did this. Also time code here if you want to just skip to the oily bit. Okay, so these are slabs that I got from B&Q for literally pence. They were just, oh make a donation and you can have them because they were just scraps. So um, yeah, I just sanded them up a little, give them a bit of grip Hit using code 75 track just creating a small little segment and this is just all using leftover clay because we're about to buy a 3d printer or is getting delivered uh, I should say in the next couple of days and I'm not gonna have time for modeling as much as I do now because we're developing a whole product line so this is gonna be really cool so I'm trying to use up the leftovers and this clay is part of the leftovers Let's glue down the track now. This is Code 75 wooden sleeper track and there's a really cool reason I'm using wooden sleeper and you'll see it in a second. Uh, creating a frame or a border to hold in the ballast. This is just wooden sticks from the range. They're like a pound for like 20. It's brilliant. Um, and this is why I use the wooden sleeper because that XF72 brown, it's the color of wood but also the color of steel. So it's like win-win. You can just go over it and it's really nice and then with what was left in the gun I decided to go uh, just waste it a little bit because I used this brown I'm not sure what brown it is but it's an, like an earthy muddy brown to use as an underlay for when I'm doing grass um, but first comes the ballast this is again ballast left over from the week-long diorama build and uh, yeah and then just mist it with wet water and saturate it with wet glue. Yes, I know I use a ketchup bottle, it's weird, but get over it, it works. Using a lighter, just pop them bubbles. Don't stab them, otherwise you ruin your ballast. Just use a lighter. And as you can see, it looks really, really smooth and nice. Now I'm gonna use this masking tape going around the edge, just basically to st stop an overspill onto the side. I'm gonna paint a nice layer of PVA glue. Now don't forget, you can do this multiple times if you if you miss a spot. And just using this, uh, again, it's just stocked up. Uh, using this uh, Javis uh, scatter, I'm just gonna well layer it on and before you tilt it off let it dry seriously and then just scoop it back in and if you need to touch up areas you've missed really really simple sticking with Javis Scenics these hedges they're left over for a reason I don't like them and you can actually see later on in the video I pull half of them off just because they look crap um, in fact that bit right there is what, what I pull off um, I thought I'd switch it up with the buffer stops I found these right at the bottom of my, my accessory bin and they look pretty good. I should have done that prior to uh, to the whole thingy but this is the oil section. Welcome if you've just skipped. All you need is baby powder, some black paint and your wet water and your wet glue and that's it. Um, yeah so literally you only need a little bit like even that's too much. Um, basically sorry for the camera angle here as well. I, I know I'm blocking the camera, but you can see I'm literally using the smallest of smallest bits to create a ridge or a line going down the middle of the track. Be sensible now, I know what it looks like. I missed it over, don't go close, you're gonna just blast it everywhere. Missed it over and it'll sort of gunk it up. And then this wet glue, if you've got a good 50-50 mixture, it'll cause it to, to spread out. Now, if it rides up the rails and it's going to stop the flange, just take a little bit of uh, a brush, just pull it down. It'll soak up the glue as well, which is really helpful. Again, with the fire, I love fire, it pops the bubbles. Now, this is NATO black. This is a matte black. Now, this is what you use to color the oil black. You'll see what I mean by that in a sec so and also just weather it in and blend it in a here I use a glossy black and this glossy black is what is going to be used to give 
the shine this is xf1 or two i'm not too sure i sprayed over but you can see it's giving that glossy look or that really wet oily look and trust me that isn't wet that's actually dry now and uh, yeah and this is where i fell in love with this little scene i was like this is actually really quite cool so i decided you know using the leftover seafoam tree from the 48 hour diorama i was like okay let's just put that in and decorate it a little and as you can see there i've ripped the bushes up now using the other sea foam tree tree again from the 48 diorama di eh, there, i can't speak diorama i decided okay let's try and flatten it and make it into a bush and i was really impressed with the results with that being said that's everything um this is the final result and i love it i'm really impressed with how it came out because i've only done this twice before <laughs> i came up with this method by myself so i hope you like it if it was just a quick fix for me so yeah with that being said i hope you did enjoy that video if so leave a like leave a subscribe and if you don't like it don't dislike it tell me why you don't like it it's not very productive just disliking it and then leaving with that being said i do hope you have a good day or night whenever you're watching this Take care, see you in the next one.